Are you ready for a challenge? A few weeks ago, we did our 21 day knit challenge, which has been super exciting. And today I am here with our crochet version. Let's go, woohoo, let's go, let's go. So if you work just four rows a day, in 21 days you will have created this gorgeous doha pattern by Janica Carter. is called Duha, which is the Czech word for rainbow. And the knit version was called Duga, which is the Croatian word for rainbow. So Janica was inspired by rainbows because they're a symbol of hope and renewal for people all around the world. And she took that inspiration and infused it into both of these patterns. Duha is a beginner friendly pattern. It's a very easy. It consists of primarily double crochets, half double crochets and single crochets and just some chain spaces. I think you're gonna have it memorized in no time. I will be doing a tutorial today showing you just how easy it is to work this pattern. And it's really unique in that it's wider on the edges. So the shape is flared out here on the sides and just by varying the stitches that you're using as you work across your rows, it gets thinner and thinner as you get to the center and then it gets wider on the other end so it creates an almost butterfly effect. The unique shape of this shawl as well as the large size means that yes you can wear it like a scarf or a traditional shawl but it's also perfect for cozying up in inside because it really feels like a big cuddly blanket. You're gonna need seven colors of sport weight yarn to make this shawl. We opted for our hand dyed luster sport yarn. It's shiny, it's drapey, and it makes really cuddly shawls like this. And we opted for our stormy rainbow hues set. For all the details and specifics of this pattern, you can download the PDF at expressionfiberarts.com. And of course, we will put the link to it as well as the yarn in the description box for you. And if you are new, be sure to sign up for email updates on the site because we do free knit and crochet patterns every Friday and you will get secret coupon codes that I don't mention anywhere else. So let's go ahead and learn how to make this shawl. I'm just gonna be doing a small little swatch today and I really encourage you to grab some yarn and grab a hook and practice the little swatch with me. I'm going to start by working first a slip knot and then 30 foundation single crochets. I'm just doing a smaller swatch today. You'll actually do 300. To do a foundation single crochet, begin with a chain two, one, two, and you're going to go ahead and insert your hook into that first chain that you worked and pull up a loop. Next, you're going to yarn over to create a chain and then work a single crochet with a yarn over, pull through both. So we have a chain here and a single crochet here. To work another one, rotate your little piece and insert your hook under both legs here on the bottom. Or I guess it's more the edge. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Now again, you want to create a chain here with a yarn over, pull through one. Now we want to create our single crochet. Yarn over, pull through two. We're going to continue that until we have the amount required in the pattern. Rotate, insert under both legs. Yarn over, pull up a loop. Yarn over, pull through one to create your chain. Yarn over, pull through two to create your single crochet. And just continue on in that method. To work row two, we're going to turn and start with a beginning double crochet, and those are really fun. Pull up your yarn a little bit and go ahead and wrap your hook behind, keeping your middle finger on those stitches so they don't go anywhere. Yarn over and pull through those first two little loops, and then yarn over and pull through the next two loops. And that is your first little double crochet. Next, you're going to work a double crochet into each of the next five stitches, and you want to skip that first stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, and five. So you should have six double crochets. Now you're going to work a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. There's one, 
two, three, four, five, and six. Now you're gonna work a single crochet into each of the next six stitches. I told you this pattern is really easy to, I think you're gonna love it. Three, four, five, and six. Now a half double crochet into each of the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're gonna finish off by working one double crochet into each of the final six stitches. One, two, and creating these different stitches like this is what's gonna create that really cool flared at the edges shape of your shawl. Five and six. And your little piece should look like this. We're gonna go ahead and move on. For the next row, you're going to work your beginning double crochet again by pulling up your yarn, wrapping it down and behind, yarn over, pull through those first two little loops, yarn over, pull through the next two loops. Next, you're gonna double crochet into this next stitch, not the first one, and then chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet in the next stitch, and we're gonna do that on this small swatch two times. Chain one, skip the next stitch, double crochet into the next stitch, like so. Then you're gonna chain one, skip the next stitch, and work a half double crochet into the next stitch three times. I've got my chain one, I'm gonna skip, work a half double crochet, that's the first time. Chain one, skip, work a half double crochet into the next one, and one more time, chain one, skip, and work a half double crochet into that next stitch. Here's what we've got so far. Now we're gonna repeat three times, chain one, skip one, single crochet. Chain one, skip one, work a single crochet into that next stitch. Chain one, skip one, single crochet. One more time, chain one, skip one, single crochet. Now we're, we're back to the half double crochets. So again, chain one, skip one, work a half double crochet into the next. We're gonna do that three times. Chain one, skip one, work a half double crochet into the next, and chain one, skip one, half double crochet. Nice and easy. To finish this off, chain one, skip one, double crochet. Since we're over on the edges and our edges are flared out, chain one, skip one, double crochet, and finally, chain one, skip one, and work a double crochet into that final edge stitch. Here is what we have got so far, and you can already see how it's flaring on the edges, and it's thinner in the middle. Moving right along, let's go ahead and turn and work the next row. We'll do our beginning double crochet again by pulling up our yarn, wrapping behind, yarn overing, pulling it through two, yarn over, pull through two. Now you're gonna double crochet in the next chain space. And then chain one, and you'll do that three times. Double crochet in the next chain space. Chain one, double crochet in the next chain space. Chain one. Now we're onto our half double crochets. Half double crochet into the next chain space chain one three times. And for the actual shawl, you will be working far more stitches than what I'm working here today. 
oops, did I just work a double crochet? Chain one, half double crochet. Chain one, half double crochet. Once you finish that, you're gonna move into your single crochets. Chain one, single crochet into the next stitch, and we're gonna do this three times. Chain one, single crochet, chain one, single crochet into the next chain space. Here's what you've got going so far. And now we're gonna move back into the half double crochets. Chain one, half double crochet in the next chain space. Chain one, half double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, half double crochet into the next chain space. When you do get to the end of your row, you're gonna work a chain one, and you're going to double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, double crochet into the next chain space. Chain one, and then you're gonna double crochet into that final double crochet. Here's our little piece, and I'm gonna show you how to work one more row. And it's just as easy as these rows have been. You wanna pull up a loop again, turn, and start your beginning double crochet, just like we've been doing. I think you're gonna fall in love with these once you get the hang of them. Now we're gonna double crochet into the next chain space. like so. Now you're gonna double crochet into the next double crochet. We're gonna do this two times. Double crochet into the next chain space and double crochet into the next double crochet. Like this. Now we're gonna move on to our half double crochets. Three times we're gonna work half double crochet into the next chain space, and then half double crochet into the next half double crochet. That's one. Let's do it again. Half double crochet into the next, into the next chain space, half double crochet into the next half double crochet. One more time, half double crochet into the chain space, and into the next half double crochet. Now we're gonna repeat three times. Again, this is just for this tiny version. You'll be doing a lot more stitches. Single crochet into the next chain space, single crochet into the next single crochet. That's one. Single crochet into the chain space and into the single crochet. One more time. Single crochet into the chain space and into the single crochet. Now we're back to our half double crochets. Three times, we do just what we did before. Half double crochet into the chain space, half double crochet into the half double crochet. That's one. Half double crochet into the chain space and into the next half double crochet. One more time, half double crochet in the chain space and in the next half double crochet. And I think you're just gonna have this pattern memorized in no time. Now we're on to our double crochets. You're gonna to wanna to double crochet into the next chain space, double crochet into the next double crochet, do it again, double crochet into the chain space and into the double crochet, double crochet into your chain space and when you get to the end, just make sure you work that final double crochet into that final stitch on the edge. And here's our little sample piece. And the rest of the pattern is essentially repeating those rows and then just changing colors according to the pattern instructions. It's fast, 
it's fun, and if you do four rows a day, you'll have created this beautiful shawl in just 21 days. Join us for the 21 day challenge by clicking the link in the description. We would love to have you, and we cannot wait to see your version. Thank you so much for joining me. Ta-ta for now, friend, and I will see you next week with a new pattern. Mwah.